Today's Captain's Blog was made possible by a grant from Daniel D. Jager, who is a huge Jimmy Buffett fan. Z-Wave server. Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 11.49 hours on December 8th, 2015. Paul's here. Hi. Paul's having a hostage morning. Oh, really? I, I saw your Facebook and giggled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? I am trying to plug in the server. Oh, is this the there's, Z -Wave server? Yeah, he's working on the yes. Z-Wave server. Cool. Paul, I want you to go through the giant stack of servers in here and see what doesn't actually need to be here because uh, we've already removed a couple of things. We already moved. Okay. Well, just everything move. else is pretty much supposed to be here at this point. Okay. Cool. Because there's still a lot of shit. In there. We do a lot of stuff. What are you working on? Administrative fund. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're doing paperwork for the state. Go. Got Kyle here with a new buddy who's oh, this hiding. Is Ron. This is Ron. He, he, was on, he was on vacation last week. Okay. He was the reasons that the Lions lost. Oh. He was at the game. Okay. Hey, we just, we just set a, a whole record with that. The Lions are the first team to ever be up for 60 minutes and still lose. No shit. No shit. <laughs> I saw a post on that. I'm like, yay! <laughs> What are you working on, sir? Uh, Salesforce SQL. Salesforce sending, SQL? Salesforce SQL and sending up one press. Fun. So sneakers was the answer. Sneakers was up. the answer. All right. And I will get you a new blog question for today. Good. Okay. Cool. I'm on that. Someone's going to get a shirt that's very, very, very cold unless they're in one yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll send it to an Australian. Ha -ha. And, perfect. There you that would go. Be great. We, we've been collecting shirts for block prizes lately. Okay. Cool. Update on the dogs. Dog's still in the cone. Or, oh, I gotta go to Batman. No update on Elisa's yet. There's Menchi. He still sucks. He's a horrible dog and nobody likes him. You just let the dog in. Hi, I'm coming. I was shooting vlog, so. Alright. So, hey, Bruce, yeah. come here. All right, Batman. Our mission today, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it because I think it's too much a special order. Yeah, usually. All right, here, you got, you got camera. Well, we can get an order with the other. Yeah. You can put the dog down. All right, tape measure. Okay, so what we're going to need is two 90 degree fittings. All right. Tape measure thunk! We're gonna need two foot plus three foot plus, so that's five. I'm gonna say six and we'll have a little bit extra. Okay. So we need 11 feet of the, the flex. Okay. We need 11 feet of flex, 11, I'm going to say 14, I'm going to say 16 feet on the wires, which will give us a little extra, but you can always cut foot off. So 11 foot on the flex, 16 feet on the wires. Yeah. Make sure we get the end fittings for the flex. That's the no, not, not just the 90s, the end piece. There's a, there's a... Comes with, when you buy the Comes fitting. with a 90? Okay. Comes with, well, you can buy the 90 for the flex side. Comes with the okay. fitting as well. Well, at least it should. And we should be doing cool. And a pair of bank rings. Two inch bank rings. It should also come with the fittings. Okay. Well, we do that. Two okay. and what do say? Two 90 degree, two inch flex fittings. 11 feet, two inch flex. 16 feet. Yeah, three. Because two hundred apps. Um, ten 
we've got we've got ground. Updates now that I've got my information. Why? I had to step away from my computer. I understand. Electricians are running the wire for the RTUs and making that happen. So, Mackie's foot is fine. Her stitches are out. She's totally cool. Um, the only reason they're keeping her in the bandage and cone is to annoy the dog at this point because she's a bad dog and nobody loves her. <laughs> That and because there's a little pad on the bottom of her foot, which isn't entirely healed, so we can just take that off in a couple days. Elisa's is stressed. You can tell she's, she's been helping Mackie. Okay. She's been making sure to do her best to remove Mackie's bandage because it annoys Mackie. Yay! Pals. You just got a new phone and you're, you're trashing it. Oh, it's already cracked. That's a lot of numbers. I know. What are you doing? Activating the new phone, it's not cracked. Oh, okay. So this is the new one that isn't cracked? Okay. It went directly into the Oh, well, see, that's that's a thing. Uh, when are you ready to go? I can uh, just send well, you, can I? I don't have to go to Kendall. I was going to ask you about uh, the bocce balls. Did we want to try and tap, or are we just doing lag screws? Just lag screws, but I don't I don't want the ones like bowling ball size. I want, yeah, you want small. Yeah, I want smaller ones. Ball yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're going to drill the bocce balls and get that started. And if you can get me, um, talk to the IRC on the bocce balls. If we get somebody to donate a bunch of them, then all those, exactly those. Okay? If we get somebody, I need, look at that gif of the, okay, count the balls. I need that many bocce balls, and I can make one. The one that's like this, six, Yeah, I can, I can make that really easily. Um... But you gotta get the IRC to get me the balls. You get me the materials, I can make the thing. The rest of the That's stuff okay. is just all in house bits. That's, we go to well, Central and get some bits of aluminum and we might even do it in steel or something like that. Cool. Alright, so you can handle Kendall totally, and you can handle Coochies, and I don't have to go on either of those, so I can handle the thing with you for the check. Because efficiency. Yeah. Alright, I'll be back. So close. Next step will be installing the gas lines, and then they'll just it'll be awesome. There'll be heat. How are you, gentlemen, doing? What are you working on? Um, once Paul gets all the server details up, I'll be working on Z-Way server. Right now I'm looking at the possibility of putting a cage on Mac. <laughs> okay. Bandage. Dog's getting a cage. You found a 3D print model of a cage you put over the foot. Yeah? <laughs> Dog is not okay with that. Because if it works, we can, yeah, we can take the cone off. Yeah. You're hard at work? Okay. Unimportant things. Oh, okay. What are you working on? Grants. 
Grant. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> that says everything in just one word. What do you want? Grant. <laughs> we got mail. What mail? I don't know. The box? Yeah. Oh, yeah, specifically. I get strike. <sighs> It's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. Uh, yeah? Christmas audio. What? So, I have headphones for my laptop so that I can tune out people. Okay. It tunes out the radio. So, I got a cable that goes from the output on the radio input on the headphone, or the, the mic in on the laptop. Okay. If there's an impedance matching problem. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to line it. So okay. You just want to listen to the radio, right? Yeah. And your headphones are plugged into your laptop? Well, I'm plugging the radio into something. Don't, don't plug the radio in. Just, you're on a laptop. Pandora, Spotify, songs. No, 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 not the radio. The radio. Your radio radio. My radio radio. You're screwed. That's, that's you're screwed. screwed. You can do it. Absolutely possible. It's more trouble than a toy. Okay. Just because my problem is I miss. Like I'll hear you. Cause you're just yeah, but you shouldn't be on the radio anyway. I need to hear people call me. If somebody calls you, we'll know to ask the person next to you. It'll be okay. But That'll help because it's Jerry and he won't have a radio. I have no intelligent solution for this. It okay. doesn't involve just electroshock collar on Jerry. Really, uh, okay. the best. That's what I recommend. She can help. She's got experience. I will. I'll fill out a requisition. Okay. Cool. See, I I didn't have the camera on for that because I had a thing. And the whole world does not know how dumb you are right now, so you're saved there. I came to see what you had going on. What are you working on? I'm working on the coil liner video. Okay. Um, what was the coil before Gemini? It started with an A. Arcturus. Spell it? Arcturus, like the star. Okay. Between him talking and you, that did not make yeah. sense. Yeah, Arcturus. Okay. Yep. So, cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, when he's done helping people, put him on and change the sign. Okay. I don't know. Well, that's not very helpful. Well, I'll come up with something if you don't. But you're smart, you're clever, you come up with things. That's Al. Hi, Al. Hi. You're famous on the internet. Uh -huh. Good. Is that one of ours or what? Uh, yes. The video. What is it? It's the only right for the SDR of Abusive Power. Oh. I'm giving him a crash course. The SDR Abusive Power? Solar death ray. Oh. There's a TLA in the so SDR. It's a thing. I thought we had some like new awesome camera technology or something. <sighs> hey, I don't know, and you didn't either. Shut up. Oh, I want to thank Levin Dixon, who donated on the Patreon. Thank you for joining the Club of Weird on there, sir, and helping out. Um, we're going to have to replace the blog camera soon, so that's kind of a thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's all you at your movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, shut up! You can feel it. <laughs> it's the only way I can tell you HMW delicious? from it. No, it feels different. Get a, get a little block of your HMW and a little block of HDPE. They look exactly alike. And, right. And especially if they're old and been on well, the shelf. So you, you the side cuts little. on UHMW look, usually look more translucent than yeah. HDPE. Yeah. Um, but yeah, can you get a whole set out of one of these? Yes. Okay. 24 by 24, I can get three sets out of this. But Okay. Um, but what is he sizing at? Because I need three sets, but I need one set at quarter inch. Uh -huh. for One set to fit quarter inch. So tubing, these, the ones one he gave me are quarter inch. Half inch. Okay, then do, do quarter inch out of this. He said two of them because he's got a six inch base and, or six inch coil and a four inch coil that yeah. are going to use many, quarter inch. How many uprights per? Six? Eight. Eight? eight? Okay, cool. Um, if you can get three sets out of it, do three sets out of it. Okay. Do I it. think I can. I should, it should be five, ten, 
15, 20. I should be able to get four sets out Do of it. one sheet. Do it. Okay. Totally down with that. Um, then we're going to have to go to three inch stuff. And I want this for the exact same thing, but size to fit a uh, half inch. Okay. Tube. I'll work with Kidwell on that because I can't modify his shit very easily. He's working right. with AutoCAD. So you're you're going to get real good at working with AutoCAD. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you guys are doing this and he's learning how? Yep. That's awesome. So we're going to um, do uprights here and then two of these will become bases. One for a four inch, one for a six inch, and yeah, we'll get okay. that done today, I think. Good. Learn how. Once we've got this dialed down, I want to do one for a production video. Like the process of how we make our primary coil forms and all that. But okay. I, I won't do it today because you're just, this is the first time you've ever done it. Mm -hmm. And that's just mean. I'm not that mean. But cool. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the best part is, is she will, she won't even walk on it. Good. You don't want her walking on it. She'll, she'll no. hurt herself. But we gonna... have the sock on there so she can, so she, she won't chew at it with the sock. <laughs> but she'll lick it. She's been so miserable with the cone that we thought we would give her some cone free time. Jerry, I will let you finish that up. You have a nice system. <laughs> so now she can hang out cone free and she can lick that sock to high heaven and it's not gonna hurt anything. All done? Nice goes soon. <laughs> it's a nice vintage cage. We're not like cooping it up. Okay, okay. Keeping, causing an infection. F fix your ear. She drew the okay. short leash because she's so bad today. You're a bad dog. Oh my god, she's so bad. <laughs> so a little sun on her off. Hi. Hi. Sure. Need a shower and sleep. Okay. Yeah, you kind of stinky. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's like in. a whole thing today. So what do you got going on? We're going to Lansing. For what? Fill the room. How many people are going to be at the event? About 30. It's a small room. I do what we can. <laughs> we were nominated to go to this um, event to help work with women who are in leadership positions in tech. I'm all for that. So um, we're going to meet some other women who are she also knows what leaders. She's doing. Okay. Mom's leaving her coats on. Yeah. It's in Lansing because apparently the drive to Lansing is my new hobby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. We find ourselves. <laughs> We'll, we'll be back at like nine. All right, I'll see you guys when you get back. She's so mopey. You, you have the cone or the yacht? Yeah, they're, they're all mopey. It's just so much sadness. <sighs> so they got the, uh, I can show you guys. There really isn't much to see on this side, but they got the, uh, all the wiring's up and the boxes are ready to be powered. So we have air conditioning. We don't have heat yet. They got to run the gas. Hey, Paul. Yes. You have a truckload of wireless access points showing up tomorrow. Oh, really? Yep. Like, oh, fun. truckload of nice access points. Are they Cisco's? No, they're uh, Ubiquity. Never heard of them before. Really? Yeah, never heard of them before. Okay. I think it's Ubiquity is the name. Well, I guess we'll see what we get in. All right. Moose, what's the name brand of the access points that's coming tomorrow? Ubiquity? Juniper! Juniper! They're, they're junipers. Okay. You know who that is? I've heard of them before. Okay. As yeah. long as you're happy. Are you talking about the thermostat things? No, we've got access points, like a metric buttload. Oh, the actual Wi-Fi. Yeah, the okay. actual, the Wi-Fi for the lab is about to get a lot better. So what are you working on? Uh, I don't know. Did we get that thing to the main yeah. set yet? It's up there? Is yeah. it plugged in and working and good? I didn't know where you wanted it on the main set. Just on the main set. Somewhere, talk to Elizabeth for where she wants it, but you two get that placed so that we can do a video with it. May, um, huh? may not have broken the thing with the plastic. What plastic? The door. Really? Yeah. It shifted on the stupid... Did you break it or did you it not? It cracked it right at the edge. Oh, shit. All right. It's just a piece of plastic. Yeah, it's just what it looks on. It's not that big a deal, but I want it to look good for the video. So. Worst comes to worst, you just take it off and it stand really far away. Yeah. Um, all right. Find me two of each kind of print connector we have, and I need a way to arrange it on a thing for pulling. I want to use that to oh. test print connectors. So one end of the wire will be like 
properly anchored, like, I don't know, some big clamp or something, um, like a split nut. And the other end's just going to be a crimp connector. And we're going to hook the crimp connector to a block, so we'll need a block that we can put in there, and we'll pull them out to the end. They already kind of have something. It's this weird hook thing that's meant to, like, hook a knot of a wire into, so you can yeah. just hook the crimp connector into that and just watch it. All right, we'll check it out when we set up for the video, but I, I want to start getting that together. Yeah, he's making test coils. Yeah, he's making test coils. Parts right here.
Come here, man. I got an idea. That little shed we just put together, do they make smaller ones? Find out. See what the smallest shed you can get is that'll fit that big vacuum pump over there? Okay. Once we know that, we know how big a concrete pad we need to make. If we can make a concrete pad with a shed, put that in it, we can get all the noise in there out of it. Which would be really cool, because we can put it right outside here. And that'd be really awesome. So, you two get me some numbers on that, because I need to know how much we'd have to raise to do that. i say that the, the shed we got was on super duper sale. I don't know if it's a clearance thing or not. So we'll, we'll look. We'll do some digging. All right, yeah. yeah. Let me know because one, if this is like a thing where for like $1,000 we can do the whole thing with the concrete and shed, move it on, we need to do it. Yeah. Because I just watched these guys spend 10 minutes. What? The, the plumbing would have to go up around the door so that we could, you know, because we got to have that clear so we can't just put a shed right Alright, so we run the plumbing up and around the door. Also, we should fix that. Well, if we're going to be doing the new thing soon. Yeah, we should fix that in the meantime. It's probably not going to happen till spring unless there's like some major influx of donations or something. Right. Like but I just watched these guys spend 10 minutes screwing individual parts down because yeah. we don't have enough vacuum to do it. And with that thing, we would. Oh, well. Pocket part. That's looking cool though. So I hear there's a couple already built. Yeah. Can I see? These are the uh, base plates. Oh, sexy. The four and six inch cool. coils. Yep. Uh, they both use the same uprights and quarter inch tubing yep. uh, for your primaries. And we've got lots of slots so we can adjust. Yep. That's cool. Those, those made the drill very hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd have done it with a mill. That small? Well, yeah, do yeah. Nah. Do it with a center cutting end mill, it'd be fine. Real low. No, no, no. Cool. These these are not for show. These are these are research coils. Yeah. Ugly, simple works. Exactly. Cool. Good job. You guys are rocking out. Is he is he doing all right or is he yeah, causing problems? Right. Okay. This man bothering me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's doing pretty good. Uh, learning quite a bit. Oh, I gotta do a lot keeping of his hands out of the spinny bits. So. Yeah, <laughs> definitely keeping my hands away from the spinning wheels. Oh, you'll learn that real quick. Yeah, yeah. We'll figure out what happened there. Huh? Yeah, it's kind of a weird 
Yeah, well, this is the other side of it. A little chunky. Could be better. Could be. That could be better. Yeah, well, uh, I only had it held oh. down with one screw, so it spun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I want to start doing yeah, some research screws. into getting the real vacuum working. The right. big vacuum system. Which one that are you using? You're going to use the big, big bastard? The big white one. But to make that happen, I need a concrete pad. Have you done a startup test on No, but we could. You want to? Very second, no, but soon. Uh, yeah. Hey, Batman! Hi. You want to do a startup test on this? Well, you do need to start it up easy. I have a, I have a suitable variable drive for this. Downside is it's in the high voltage lab, <laughs> but I totally have exactly what we need to be able to safely test this. We got 20 horsepower. 483 phase at 23 amps. That's comfortable. Pressure 5.5. Probably pick something up. That's alright. So, how, how hard would it be to get this move to. Because uh, we got two ways to do it. We could do it down here, but I got to hack together some electrical motor. I don't know if we got a if we got a three phase disconnect. That's close. <laughs> yeah, that's tight. Potentially, uh, yeah. Can we get the other one up there too? Yeah. So that one, I think they said they want to do the oil change on first before we. Okay. Start it up. Yeah. This this one's going to have a higher throughput and be more suitable for the just vacuum table. Three 120 variax, right? Just turn them on. <laughs> Do we still have that piece of shit? You, okay. You, we scrapped that because I was like, that went through the fire, so I didn't really yeah. trust it. Um, the main high voltage power supply would do this in its sleep. Yeah. And I can ramp it up really, really slow. We can test it if you want to do that. But I know it's a monumental pain in the ass to get. Yeah, it's heavy. It's, it's not only heavy, it's, it's really tight on the doors. I'm going to have to start pulling the doors out. Okay, well then I need I need a three-phase disconnect rated for 480. Okay, this only needs 23 amps, so that isn't hard. That's, that's not very big. And I need cabling to get it into the plug there. So we've got the, the plug over here that we use with the welders. That's 60 amps, so that's plenty of power. I need to get from here into the plug, into a three-phase disconnect, into a cable, into the thing. Make it out. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. Hello, I'm gonna get no, your ass. Here, trade me. Thank you. You gotta you gotta let the choo choo. That's right, bitch. Alright. Now, straighten that out and take the other end. Now, all you gotta do is hold those together. Good, okay? Oh yeah, it's pleasant. Okay, yeah. now don't let go. That's an important step to this. 
Hey, Bruce. Yes. Come here, man. Hold that and look pretty. Don't pull the trigger. Just, just stand there and look pretty. Thank you. Let's turn his on. He's nicer. Wow. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god, it's interesting. It just cut a gate. I now have a hole in my hand. I can feel it. Sweet. A hole in your hand? Yeah. It's the hook of wire just ripped Dear right Liza. Just, just give me a minute. Dear Liza, dear Liza. <laughs> This, this, improves, <laughs> this improves the flow of the electrons by tenfold. Mm. Well, but you got to be careful what though, because if you kink it, the electrons by, can't flow. By having right. by having the ground conductor in there, in a natural helix like human DNA, mm -hmm. this is an earthing system, and it helps filter out the bad electrons so that you only get positive waves. Right? It only works this, when we put it under the. By pyramid. having an earthing system. It allows you to, to connect with Schumann resonance. Keep your feng shui well. It, by this, by this using is all just come on by using day. Schumann resonance, it allows you to properly utilize. And you'll notice we have three phase, okay, right. like the Trinity, mm. and the three phase <laughs> connects us. So we've got Schumann power coming from the the earthing conductor. I wouldn't want to rush you. And we've got three phase Teslin waves. Mm. Teslin. For Teslin waves. <laughs> for the other three, and by accepting Tesla's poly polyphagic waves into our heart, and you'll notice that Tesla created a three-phase power, and three is the magic number. You're running out of zip ties. I'm fine! <laughs> Just gonna use some Edward fractal, <laughs> I'm using fractal geometry here. Doing this for a hack job. This is totally a bodge, but you know, there's no substitution for craftsmanship. He now, he could have got the back. feature. We'll catch the whole thing. Step back. Way back. Let go. There you go. Ow. <laughs> Man. There you go. That's Start, how you make started it. tearing my calluses there a little. <laughs> Jump. It's just right there. It's starting to tear them a little. Stick, stick your finger. <laughs> Right. <laughs> now you do that, you're gonna end up with a girl with a left hand thread. I had that problem all through college. It took three years for that shit to grow back out. And now I've got varicose. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got another ten years till I got a prostate the size of a fucking grapefruit. I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright, you hook that end on there, I'll hook this end on the other thing. Should I just fucking smash the wires between the nuts and bolts at this point? No, take... We don't have proper I don't connectors. have proper ring connectors All right, because then, high voltage weekend happened. happen. To okay, the then network. for the test... Uh, oh man... Electrical tape, it's fine. T no, we're just <laughs> testing. Can See if you got enough there to engage a wire nut. Alright. It's gonna be tight, but I think... It, it looks like it. they just would gator clip this thing. I don't even know, but we could, it's only 23 amps, we can wire nut it for now. I feel dirty doing that, but if you've got enough to properly engage your wire nut, we can do that for now. See, you, you can only, you can only have less than half an inch untwisted mm. or you'll induce uh, noise and you won't get a high enough connection speed. Right. For your three phase. It's a gigabit. This? No, it's only 20 amps. So this <laughs> is this is 10 100. Mm -hmm. Oh. You're gonna go full power on this thing from dead? Sure. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be fine. I have a concern. <laughs> I also have a concern. I have scienced it. So 
so I think we're going to be okay because helicopters. Mm. See that big motor over there, that big 20 horsepower motor? Yeah. It's not bolted down to the floor. Right. So my concern is when we kick this on at full power, it's going to want to jump over. Yeah. But, but, science, <laughs> I've done science to it, the motor is connected to the, uh, the, the big bones. blower fan. The five bones right. So, since the motor is rigidly connected to the blower, and they are both rigidly connected to a contiguous base, I believe that the torque moment induced from the motor will be counteracted by the inertia of the blower, because oh, that's how inertia works. Yeah. So, it will not, in fact, go, Arr! I think it'll just go, Arr! Because the motor will induce a significant torque moment to the shaft, because that's what motors do. But I, I think it's going to be okay. I think. Not 100%, but I think, because physics. Hey, did you get that ground bar? Where? It's right here. It's right. Brand new grounding bar. Does it fit the thing? Here, go nuts. You got. Here. Now these are set for proper rotation, so don't screw it up. You want to? Okay. Yeah, totally. By all means, we get to start at that end. That's. Uh, this is the fucked up jank one. You didn't realize it. In what way is it a fucked up jank one? It's got the little tiny hole. Yeah, that'll fit. No, no I lied. No. It totally won't fit. Can you pop that out? Daddy. I need another set for proper rotation. Math. Three phases, 120 degrees face to face. Okay. But you're trusting that Bruce has that plug wire. No, no, I'd sorted it all out. You know why? Because Bruce is a boy. You get a cookie if you get that joke. <laughs> yes! Hey! Very good. Oh. What? Oh, flow two to pop every single one of your size. If you use that one, where's the other one? Right here. It, I already popped the first zip tie. Really? Yep. We only have to use it for five minutes. I don't so, think it's going to yeah. vibrate enough to change. We'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, this is normally when you do shit like this, you just strip the thing and stick it in the wall. And it's, yeah, fuck, it works. Okay, but this is three phase at 20 amps, so we need a higher level of safety. This is not an installation setup, so we don't need yeah. that high of a level. Of if I've seen shit in factories, man. <laughs> oh yeah. I've seen, I've seen things. I've seen dirty things. I'm gonna go get the scrubbers. <laughs> Yay, Chris is back with the strippers. Let's go bounce up. There. Is this a nice, comfortable place to work in this? Are you happy with this? We can move wherever we want to. Yeah? Okay, cool. You grab that in. Hey, man! Uh, hey! We're right now at the beer party. Alright, so you hook up the ground, and then hook up the plug side. We're idiots. What? This is sweet shit. Oh no, we're over here. Right we're over there. here. Shut up! God. You're not my real dad. Oh, you're right. I had, I had Jerry wipe this down with me. He came out and helped out. We took the three layers of schmoo off it. Jerry was productive. Well, that's how we're going to measure the float. First, we're going to put Jerry on here, and if he floats above it, you know, we're going to try and work our right. way up to at least a mat. <laughs> we'll try Jerry first, and then me, then Bellatini. If I just started out with a KC, he'd just sit here, get a good ass seal, and start belching a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I want to get this thing outside. If it, if it does what it says on the tin, this will instantly replace our setup. Give me news. Any landmarks? 
Watch the back of the big truck. That's what you want to see, the big truck. Flatless? Huh? They need more. Dude, the whole thing just ends up on the ground. Yeah, he picks it. The dude is going to show up, take it off the truck, put it in a cart. It's going to fall on the ground. What is it? It's the giant freaking... You're looking for that cart, and you know the big condenser? Yeah. The thing? That. Yeah. Okay. You're looking for the it's big... It's kind of hard to miss. Yeah. It, the and thing... at that hour of the morning, ain't nothing else happening in the parking lot. You'll know it when you see it. The thing's only like eight foot long. I do not. Anything stuck in your head? You like do you like pina, pina coladas? coladas? There now, Jimmy Buffett. For you. I'm sorry to everybody on the blog for that one. I'm really not. By the way, today's captain's blog was made possible by a grant from Daniel D. Jager, who is a huge Jimmy Buffett fan. Cheeseburger and paradigm. Right? All right. A little bit of salt that's to my mind. A little bit of salt is a <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I'm done. This karaoke bullshit's gotta go. Uh, my program's done. You're just gonna have to wait. You know where that wire goes, right? Yeah. In the ground, obviously. <laughs> Bruce would just sit right here going, eh, eh, eh. Should be about twice that long. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> well, it was twice that long, but then somebody twisted it. Yeah, good point. <laughs> uh huh. That guy. This motherfucker. Realize we only have one problem with this ground bar. What? We'd have to strip our cable. Huh? Because hmm? hmm? we don't have enough play on it. The other one? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I really don't want to do that. Oh. Oh. Um. No, All right. you'd have to strip it too much. Just put a junction in there. Ground. Jumper wire! Yeah. Jumper works. Jumper wire! The alternative is say, fuck it, no ground, we're just testing it. Is he going to knock out a hole on top? What are you doing? No, we can knock out a hole on top. Knock out a hole on top? You're not going to the back of the damn thing. I want that laying on the floor so I can kick it with my foot. <laughs> this is totally safety. You got the, the high voltage pole? This is totally safe. Totally safe. This is absolutely the safest thing we've ever done. I felt like we were just doing this not too long ago, so what were we doing to this? To what? We were doing something with to something. this? Uh, not to this, but we were ghetto rigging some wires to test something, and I don't remember what the it was. Very was the very extra. Which is why we went today and spent 200 bucks to do the thing. Oh, by the way, Kidwell cost 180, not 100. So donate 80 bucks. <laughs> The Variac will be hooked up in a couple days. We had to special order a thing. You got the wire today, though, didn't you? Are you yeah, going to pick that up? I got up? the wire. You got the wire today? Yeah, I'm just going to be right. able to pick up the conduit tonight. Or tomorrow. tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Okay, do that on your way in. Because that'll be the, the first project tomorrow. We're doing science. Well, engineering. Someone's We're doing gonna, engineering. Someone's going to die. Someone's going to die bad. We're testing this out. It's totally safe. Oh, okay. Any preference for the order? Huh? Yeah, boy. Red, red, brown, orange, yellow. Duh. You don't even know which one of those is hot, do you? We have no brown. Huh? We do. No brown. 
well, black's close to brown, and red and orange are kind of paired colors, and yellow's bright and white's bright, so just tuck them in there, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> kind of does at some point. One of these will have to get well, switched. Well, one of these will get switched. Yeah. You're assuming this isn't going to work. I gauge It's going to turn on either way. It's just depending it's on which way the fan. It's going to suck out one way or the other. Yeah, but this doesn't work that way. We, one way or the other, this is going to suck. This is loaded. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll just tap it mm -hmm. on. And then you watch the... And then you then bring it off, watch, see which way it spins. And, yeah. What are we using this for? We got a 50% chance. This is going to be the... Vacuum. Master vacuum sucky thingy for the. Hear that noise? This would be the new thing that makes that noise. I think she, <laughs> I think she knows what the vacuum table we'll is. We'll make a bigger noise. This will let the vacuum table actually suck. This will increase its choo choo ness by like 300%. Suck. Suck. Yep. Suck. 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 That's going to tip on me and I'm. Kick your ass while laughing. Thursday, I'm interviewing Chris about the coil winder. Would you guys mind answering some questions about your part in the whole thing so far? Okay. I did not have any correspondence with that project. Yes, you did. You built the frame. No, I did, but I'm denying it. Oh, I'm okay. We're trying. How hard would it be to do, because Central's a sponsor, how hard would it be to pick up some two-inch square tubing and make a new frame out of, like, weld up a frame more rigid than you well, you you if you we're welding it up, you definitely want to consider it being able to fit through a door. Because <laughs> obviously I have to weld it down here. We can make some hard bolt together. What do you need? Light. Anyway, we're trying a new direction with big project videos and stuff. This is an experiment. Mm -hmm. I like experimenting. Everything's an experiment. I am about to in... Remember the difference between goofing around and experimenting is writing it down. In three weeks, I'm about to do the largest experiment in the history of the Geek Group. Oh. I missed a little bit of that. I am doing the ultimate demonstration of putting my money where my mouth is. It's going to be awesome. Are you going to eat a dollar? And my money on my mind. No, I'm, I'm yeah. going to do a whole thing. It's going to be cool. And a lot of people are going to freak out. We're going to piss a lot of people off, and it's going to be really fun. It's got to do with magnets. Oh, it has to do with money. <laughs> He's going to turn someone's $50 bill into a $1 bill, and they won't want it anymore than later. He's going to do that. I can eight do more. that trick. He's going to do it eight more times, and then we'll have funding for high voltage for a project. Not just half. Um, okay. my, my green ring hanging off my toolbox. Okay. Chris wants a running start. Rotate it a little bit this way. It's like, hold it, I want it. over there. 
course it does. <laughs> All right, so that part's safe. I'm good. I can see the bearing. Is that which way it looks Yeah, we can see the bearing. All right, we want it to go this way. Okay, ready? This kid sucks so bad. Uh, Bruce, come here. If anything goes really, really bad, grab here and yank. No, I'm not going to blow up or anything, but if it, I didn't lock that on there so that if it goes really bad, don't, don't even grab that. Just hold this with hand. Or you just have them stand up this right here instead. If it goes really, really bad, you just... Okay. Okay. No. What? You can just stand at the breaker instead. Where's the breaker at? Right on the left. Do you know which one it is? On this one. You stand at the breaker. Then I can't watch that. Alright, then you can stand with the Ready? I'm just gonna watch Three, two, one. It's a 20 amp motor. 23 amp motor. <laughs> no, no, we can uh, leave it more. Uh, it's a good thing you put a 100 amp plug on it. <laughs> well, it had a 60 amp plug on it. They needed that for something. Or it had a 60 amp brake arm. We, we, had we, never, we never got the 60. Because it was like we it was 15. Like Alright, you want to try it again? See if we can make it work? Sure, why not? Alright. That one just cleared the dust off. Batman immediately pumped back on. <laughs> You'll get your pack to start. You know what those breakers are? <laughs> well, it works. Well, and we need like a it turns. Breaker to be able to properly test. Just unplug power to switch the breakers. Oh yeah. Where's where the other? Huh? Where's the vacuum table? table the this is gonna be the vacuum pump for the SR table. Ooh. Yeah. I don't hold down anything. That's the idea. But to make it all work, we need about a $600 breaker. Right. We need a concrete pad, but not a very big one. We yeah. need one of the little so sheds. We to cut in. Yeah, cool. we need one of the little sheds like we just got. Yeah. And we put pour a pad, put the shed on the pad, that, put this in the shed, duct it. The, yeah, it's gonna, that way this yard. is outside. Yeah. Probably be easier to put that on the pad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, the alternative. It would be yeah. No, the alternative is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can't fit this in the room. We can't have room there. We can't put it on top because it won't take the weight. No. So we got to vault to the side of the wall right there, above the empty side. There you go. The one that's falling down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's that. It's pretty cool when it started. It's yeah. really. It's and it turned the right way? Yeah. Told you I had that right. You got it. Yeah. Well, the other option is... You need to learn that I am never wrong, and I never love. Uh, is it, is that cable long, long enough? Oh. Just, okay. So, this is combined what? The lathe is a 60 amp breaker. We just tied into the lathe's disconnect. Each of those have a 60 amp breaker. Or at least 30. They don't have 60. I think they're 40s. Take a look. I think they're 30 and 40. There's, there's, honestly. <laughs> All right. Today's Captain's Blog was made possible by a grant from Daniel D. Jager, who is a huge Jimmy Buffett fan.